to Serena Nunez with your News in 90. Las Vegas police released new investigation results on last year's mass shooting. Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo says he's confident only one shooter was involved, according to a report. He says he does not anticipate charging the shooter's wife, who was previously a person of interest in the case. Lombardo says the FBI is building its own case against a person of interest, but did not reveal any further information. The shooting was the worst in U.S. history, leaving 58 dead and hundreds injured. We're just hours away from a potential federal government shutdown. Lawmakers are working to find a compromise on a short-term spending bill that would keep the government open. A temporary spending bill requires support from at least 60 senators. However, Democrats are refusing to sign the bill unless there's a proposed solution for DACA, the program protecting undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Some Republicans say they also plan to vote no in favor of a long-term spending agreement. White House officials believe there's a 50-50 chance of a deal. A new state government bill could put local trees at risk. Bill 574 would ban local governments from managing tree trimming and removal. Local cities would no longer be able to regulate vegetation. Greg Stube, who sponsors the bill, says local ordinance can be unreasonable and a threat to private property rights. Gainesville officials spent Florida Arbor Day discussing this bill and encouraging others to add to the North Central Florida's tree canopy. Gainesville Commissioner Harvey Budd hopes this will help with Hurricane Irma recovery. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.